I'm not going to spend my life running after you. Don't then. You're just going to walk away from this? From what? Lex's little mind games? Call them what you like. You have to play them to win them. Win what? I'm not trying to win anything. If Lex wants to be leader, that's fine. That's no problem for me. Go on then. Just walk away. Like always. Give up on us. Us? Who are you talking about, Amber? What us? There is no us. There is. You just don't like to see it. It gets in the way of thinking about yourself, That's doesn't rubbish. it? rubbish. You don't even care about the baby. Don't give me that! Well, it sure doesn't look like it. What sort of future does she get? A good one. That's why I brought her here. And now that she's here, that's your job done, is it? And if Lex becomes leader, you're happy with that? You're happy to leave her future in his hands? Not especially, no. Well, do something about it then! No, Amber. Just stop and think for a minute. Who would be good for you all? You could be. Amber, I don't have to spell it out for you, do I? It should be you. You're what they need. Have an election, a fair vote. You against Lex. Let them decide. Me? I'll see you later. Leaders never got us anywhere, Amber. Look at the mess they got us into. But it can't just be everyone for themselves, Bray. How about everyone for each other? <laughs> a nice idea, but it's a dream. Maybe for now. But if you don't have dreams, where are you? So, when Lex cracks, how do you see it? If he cracks. He will. I know his type. I bet you do. Do you know mine? Not yet, but I'm working on it. Bray, we need to talk. About Ebony? No, about Trudy. About you, Trudy, and Celine. I see. What's going on, Bray? Can't you see what you were doing to Trudy and Celine? Are you playing with her or are you for real? I don't know. I don't know what to feel. The group can't afford this sort of disruption. Not if we're going to stay together. This is the last thing I wanted. In the beginning, all I cared about was getting her safe and making sure the baby was okay. I hadn't thought about what might happen if if I fell for somebody else. Look, it, it might be different if Trudy was more stable or Brady was more grown up. But you can't abandon them now. You don't need to remind me. But isn't it worse to pretend? To live a lie? I mean, what about love, Amber? Doesn't that count for anything? Cleaning rotor. Aren't you going to be everyone's favorite person? We can't all be hunter-gatherers. Someone's going to stay home in Hoover? You don't strike me as the type. Got it in one. And you expect me to wear a loincloth and carry a club? Like all the best hunters. What about ex-boyfriends? What do they do when their girl suddenly reappears on the scene? Keep a distance. Be polite, but wary. They don't start thinking they might give it another go? No way. Life moves on so quickly since it happened. I've noticed. You never know what's about to take you by surprise. Or who. I I'm sorry, I didn't mean... We were just discussing duties. And we've just finished. Um... Some of it did get on the walls. Glad to hear it. Hey, you should be down there. And not just as another pair of hands. Does Trudy repeat everything I say back to you? Hey, come on, that's not fair. She only tells us because she cares. Like, like we all do. I'd be fine if everyone just left me in peace. If people couldn't see how down you were. We all have our bad days. But we haven't just all given up on someone we've loved. Do you wish you'd gone with them? Sometimes. I suppose 
You wonder where he is and what he's up to? Most of the time. I suppose you wonder if he's missing you as much as you're missing him. All right. Who taught you how to read minds? Come on, Amber. You think I haven't been there and done that? It hurts, doesn't it? Look, I've been meaning to say I'm sorry. Um, look, I was way out of line about Sasha. You weren't his greatest fan. Yeah. But for reasons I don't want to admit, even to myself. We all have our dumb moments. But some of us are dumber than others. It's funny how peaceful it all seems when you can't see the horrors. Mm. What are you thinking? I was wondering where I'd be now if I'd gone with Sasha. I suppose you're sorry you didn't go. No. no I'm not sure I am now. Well, that's good. I'm glad you stayed. You are? Yeah. I would have missed you. Well, we all would have missed you. Yeah. Good old reliable Amber, the house mother. Oh, it's not just that. See, Amber, I... Right! Amber, come on. Can I have a sip? What? Oh, of course. Mmm. Mmm, cocoa. Comfort food. Just like Mom used to make. Mm, we could do with some of that around here. It's sad, isn't it? We've come such a long way just to end like this. It offered so much hope, you know, in the mall. A new life, a safe home, and... Now it's going to kill us all. But this is how we choose to live. But not how to die. You must really regret coming back. All those times you went away, we were never sure if you would. I had plenty of reasons to come back, Amber. But you... You should have gone with Sasha. You could have been free of all this. Somewhere else. Away from here. Forget it, Bray. It's done. I can't forget it. I was so incredibly jealous. Because everyone liked him so much? No. Because you did. I should have told you a long time ago, Amber. Mm, what about Trudy and Celine? Yeah, but I wasn't honest with him, and I'm not proud of that. But I just wanted you to know... It was never hard for me coming back. I hope you're not thinking about wasting a wish. Of course not. Let's see what you can do with it. You know, I used to stand up here for hours, just letting my mind drift, especially at the beginning. You know, when I didn't know whether to stay with the tribe. Don't you do a Sasha on me. No fear. Where you are, so am I. Why did it take us so long to get it together? There's a lot in the way with Trudy and Brady. I mean, it was pretty bad timing. Maybe we were both a little afraid of our feelings. I mean, I know I was. Really? I wanted you from the first moment. 
Did you feel the same way? Maybe. Oh, okay, okay. I couldn't keep my eyes off you. You're right, it was scary. I didn't want to be vulnerable. I couldn't afford to be, not with the way things were. Well, the main thing is that we're together now. And it feels so natural, I like it. It's always been this way, it always will be. How are you? I'm okay. You? I'm never better. Bray, is this top hat guy really that bad? Let's hope we never get to find out. But just in case, I brought you something. A token. In case, well, you know. A peace symbol. And when I thought I could change the world, before it changed forever without telling me first. What are they? Well, that's my front door, back door, and padlock to my first bike. <laughs> the keys to my heart. I haven't got anything for you. I'm gonna wait. This ring, my dad gave it to me. Bray? Bray! So, what? Were you just gonna leave without a word? I thought it would be easier this way. Well, you would, wouldn't you? You always found it easier to run. If you feel that strongly, Amber, why'd you come after me? Because she's crazy about you. Isn't that obvious? You just keep out of it. It's nothing to do with you. Maybe not. But then again, I've never taken your advice, Amber. Why start now? Like, I don't know why you think he's in love with Ebony, but it's stupid. You're wrong. You're so wrong, it's not even funny. Oh, I get it. Boy's in it together. He helped you out in there, so now you're returning the favor? Why don't we just quit messing about now? Look at him. Why is he here? Have you asked yourself that? If he wanted to run off with Ebony, why did he come back and rescue us? Huh? Because he loves you, dummy. And you love him. That's your cue to kiss her. Do I have to tell you how to do everything? I've never really listened to him before either. Nor me. For more information on audio dramatizations, please visit www.tribeworld.com. Keep the dream alive.